So with that said, I want to give to you a secret. Everyone knows how to gather literature. Easy, you go to your online university library, know your search terms, know your search term synonyms and use a thesaurus, and then begin to pull those peer reviewed journal articles. Everyone should know that by now. If not, hey, I can help you, contact me on the side. The second part, everyone should know how to read the literature. We talked about this a few weeks ago and that you're going to do light skims on certain sections, medium skims on others, and then deeper skims on those sections where you need to extract the information. Remember, when you're reading, you are reading to extract what this particular author or set of authors found. So you know that part. The next part is actually theming the literature. So now that you begin to extract the information from the authors, what you're taking from them are what we call significant statements. And these significant statements are simply findings of the literature expressed in your own words. I have to repeat that. Significant statements are findings of the literature expressed in your own words. This is how we, this is a layer of preventing you from plagiarism. So when you're getting these articles and you're reading them and you're extracting information, what you're finding are significant statements from this author. You express them in your own words. Um, so sort of to paraphrase and prevent yourself from accidentally plagiarizing. Now you have a bunch of statements because you've read probably 40 to 60 articles and you have a bunch of significant statements and you organize them somewhere, whether it is index cards, which I heavily recommend, or if you're sophisticated and you're skilled in Excel, you've got them in an Excel, Excel spreadsheet where you can apply a filter, things like that. If you don't know how to do that, that's okay. DM me, contact me, and we can set up something where I can train you on how to do it that way. Um, this is what I do, and that's part of the mastering the literature reviews that you see on the screen. Um, so that's another thing that you can do. Now you take all those significant statements and you begin to group them by their similarities and you name them. Now what you're creating are elements. So significant statements named together in a group is called elements. So elements are just simply named groups of similar significant statements from different authors. So now you figure out what all of these different authors are saying and bring it to the table and where they're similar, you group them together, you give them a name, that name becomes element. That's level one. Level two is you move those elements into the next level of grouping called meaning units. Meaning units are just named groups of similar elements. So you take these elements and you begin to group those together. Then you name them, they become meaning units. That's level two. Level three is moving from meaning units to themes. So themes are just simply named groups of meaning units. And you begin to pull those together. So now you got these meaning units and underneath those you have multiple uh, themes. And underneath the theme you have multiple meaning units associated with the theme. And then underneath those meaning units, you have multiple elements associated with the meaning units. And then under that, you have the statements. You have the, the author's findings expressed in your words. Now you can start doing some writing. But before you do the writing, you can outline. And the outline can resemble the form of table 2.5 in this manual where you're dealing with headings. So we're gonna do at least four headings from the APA manual as your outline. So you got your significant statements, you have your elements, you have your meaning units, you have your themes. So level one heading, which is your centered, bold, title font face is your overall topic area. That's level one heading. Level two heading, which is flush to the left, uh, bolded, titled that's going to be your individual theme so the themes that you have found which are supported by meaning units and elements and significant statements 
that goes as a level two heading if you follow this book here. The next level is level three headings. Level three headings will be your meaning units. And level three headings are left, aligned, italicized, bold, title font. So that's your level three heading. Ah, uh, <laughs> the APA manual. I see you. Um, so that will be your um, level three heading. The level four heading will be your elements. And they're going to be indented within a paragraph, bolded, type, uh, not a lot, not um, italicized, but they're going to be before your actual paragraph starts. Now, that helps the reader know where they are when you're writing, which is another level of sophistication as you are embarking on this academic writing journey. So once again, knowing how to outline and then having that those literature pieces to actually support all of that, because once you start in your elements, then you're giving us those significant statements and they're all organized in such a way where there's multiple authors supporting your claim. And we'll get into the, the significance and strategies for actually putting together your paragraphs. But if you can get here, you can get the rest. Uh, and once again, I offer coaching, offer courses that help towards all of this to speak directly to this. And in my coaching, I give you kind of a, a 90 day plan to get you through this give you this skill set, get you through it, and actually take a piece that you want to write and put it into reality. So those are the ways of outlining the themed literature that you have. Remember, you cannot write about that which you have not read. So with that said, it is now 7.33. Uh, good people, I'm going to check out. Um, the next week, we're going to finish this segment concerning writing the literature review, and we'll move to the point where you'll start actually having guests on here. Um, and that's going to be a very important piece because I want to bring in some people who can talk to us and work with us on these items and engage in this conversation. I love it that you all are engaged in this conversation and actually commenting. I appreciate that tremendously. Um, but that is an important element as we move forward with this. But like I said, I can help you along the way. Just shoot me a, a DM, shoot me an IM, however you do it, shoot an email. Um, we can schedule a time to have a quick free consulting and see what we can help, see what we can actually improve that. And all I can promise you through my courses and coaching, I can't give you credit hours, but I can give you a skill set that you can master every course and to activity that you have as you move forward. These are the types of things you need to learn before you enter into your dissertation. Once you're in your dissertation, your committee members expect a certain level of uh, writing expertise. You don't want to get stuck there because that can be an awfully humbling and time consuming moment. Um, I know many people who are ABD and have been ABD for years because they ran into that buzzsaw for writing. You do not want to do that to yourself. Please don't do that to yourself. Um, but I will actually help you with this if you contact me we can get things going with that said family it is 7 35 and i want to let you go next week we'll wrap this all up um, on this mastering literature reviews and academic writing uh, and then we'll move on to future topics and guests and things like that but thank you for tuning in and like i said pieces of this will be coming out in the next couple of days for those who missed it you'll be able to catch it again on all of your major platforms uh, thank you all. I look forward to talking to you.